Here we go, ending 7.2 and Z18. So, Adyakiam. I shall add, looks like these are dative's too many and great examples of wisdom. A parulum, uh, a very little one. Uh, the Cretans, I'm just saying that is, uh, when, what's that, a plaintiff, with their most bitter execration or curse against those whom they hate venomously uh, when they want to use, okay, so Utor uses um, ablatives. So when they wanted to use um, their, their bitter at most, that's superlative, um, curse against those they hated, uh, so that, uh, there's a note, uh, they can delight so more in this bad habit, uh, mala concertina, they hope or vow or wish, optant, uh, that with this modest vow or wish or whatever, um, a most efficient eventum outcome uh, they should discover in this type, genere of revenge. Okay, so that by hoping that, they, that the people that they're cursing delight in their bad, uh, bad wishes. So that's a strange way of doing it, but I see what they're talking about. So people that they hate, uh, they make bitter curses against them, but they hope that they delight in their curses. In this way, it's a more modest type of wish. Okay. Enum. For to desire, to concupiesce, something uh, which is not useful, um, and in it, to perseverantly, uh, to linger in it, um, this is... An exidio, this is a destruction, which is dokendo, which is sweet, or vicinity means it's uh, close close to a, a sweet sort of destruction. Okay, so if they're desiring the thing that they're cursed with, and they persevere lingering or staying in it, um, this is a bit more of a, a close to a sweet kind of destruction. And now with the initial bit, the first bit of 7.3. Est aliud. The rest, genus, which is a neuter, there is some type of Ganus. There's a type of factorums and dictorums. So the types of deeds and words, there's a genre of these types of deeds uh, from Sapantia, from wisdom. Deflexu. So, you know, deflexu, they, they are bent from wisdom to a vafrati nomen. So, this is of a cunning type of name in its progression. So, its progression is bent, uh, proximo just means close, okay, so there's another type of deeds and words, moves from wisdom, or it's bent to cunning type of progression, that unless it assumes vires, which is strength by fa fallacies, by deceit, it does not invent it, doesn't find an end of its purpose, propositi, and praise, uh, by an occulto tremite, by a secret path, magus quam, more than it finds an open path. Okay, so it's a strange way of putting things, but there is a type of words and sayings moving from uh, wisdom into this cunning type of things. It takes its strength from deceit, and it finds an end of its purpose and its praise more on the secret path than by coming out into the open. Okay, so here's part one. With uh, Servius Tallius regnating, ruling, to a certain father of the family, head of the household, in Agro Sabines, in the Sabine lands, with Savius Tullius ruling, uh, there was to a head of a household, a praequipia magnitudis. There was an exceptional type of magnitude and a eximius form. That's an outstanding type of beauty, you might want to say. There was a vacanata. There was a cow born of exceptional magnitude and beauty. Est, there was. Okay, yep, nada rest. So you're perfect. Um, anyway, which the most certain authors of uh, oracles, so the best prophets I'm saying, are in this by dis immortalis, by the immortal gods, they responded. So these certain authors of prophecy, they responded that this had been edited and had been produced by the immortal gods. So that quiz, quiz, uh, whoever there was who immolist. Um, that's a bit of a typo, maybe. Who are sacrificed her, this cow, to Aventisi Diana, and Diana's one of the goddesses. Um, his patria, his fatherland, 
would obtain imperium, the power or ruling, of the totius terrarum orbis, orbis terrarum's the world. So um, whoever it was that sacrificed this cow would obtain power of the whole world for his um, homeland. And my last set should uh, this one work. Anyway, so the Dominus, the master, guessing the guy who owned it, he was latest, he was happy with this. Um, and with summa festination, so as fast as he could, he actammed his bovem. He drove his bove, his ox, well, it's, it's a cow, uh, to Rome. Rome's a city, it doesn't take ad. Um, before the altar of Diana in the Aventine, that's a hill, um, it stood. Was this the cow or him? Um, with this sacrifice, the regimen, the rule he would give to the Sabines, uh, De Churis is the future for giving, the Sabines are the people, the regimen of the human race would be given to the Sabines. Okay. De Quare, concerning this thing, the antistets of the temple, this is the priest, Certia Factor, Factus, that means he was informed. He intulled a relegation. Uh, Ligo is something that ties up or binds in religio's religion. So to the hospite, to this guest, he intulled some sort of uh, religious foreboding. He tied him up in some manner. Lest prior to that he should um, cater at the victim, before he should uh, slay the victim, which is the cow, Prius quam to this. Um, in the proximi aqua emnis, Okay, so the Amnes is a river, so there's a nearby river, he needs to abluesce at him. So he, before he uh, slaughters the cow, he needs to go wash himself in the waters, I guess saves himself, in the nearby of the rivers. And Eo and him, with him patenting, present participle ablative, uh, the channel of the Tiber, the alveum of the Tiber, the priest himself, Ipsy, uh, he mol molovitted, he... Um, Sacrifice the vaca, the cow. So it was a trick. And um, our herb now has dominion of so many uh, civitatum, so many cities and so many races by this furto, which is usually the furs a thief, and furtive means the deceitful. So it was a deceitful pious action. He uh, relatively he gave the dominion to our city of everyone by this uh, tricky sort of sacrifice or deceptive type of thing. Okay. 3.2. Quo in genere. So in this genere, which in this type of acumen, acumen is being smart, in the first place, in this type of being smart, uh, unius brutus must be refer referendus, must be mentioned or brought out. For when by reg Tarquinus, for when by King Tarquinus, he's a uncle, he's a paternal uncle, um, excerpt, means they picked out all the indolum, anyone who was smart or from the nobility, um, he picked them out, and amongst these, even his own fratrum, his own brother, uh, because he was vegetarius <laughs> of Ingenoi, uh, so he's brisk and enthusiastic, etc., so he was a clever fellow, um, he had noticed and advertised that his brother had been killed because he had been so smart. So he simulated himself to be obtunsi of heart, uh, to be blunt. Or they used to say that your heart's where your mind is, I suppose. So he pretended he was stupid, and by this fallacy, uh, he covered up his maximus virtues, so his cleverness. Profectus. So it's Perfecta says, I guess he set out even um, with the sons of Tarquinus, Delphos is inclusive, so I guess they're going to Delphi. Um, he who, with uh, Muneribuses, with gifts for Apollo Pythium and with sacrifices, he sent him on a random. So it looks like Tarquin must have sent um, them to honour Pythian Apollo with gifts and sacrifices. So, Aurum is gold, secretly, uh, as a gift in the name of the god, in his cavadoed baculo, so in his hollowed out walking stick, inclusum, so there was Aurum inclusum, so he, he tooled, so he's bearing in his hollowed walking stick, gold shut in, secretly, for the, a gift for the god. Uh, because he was timber batting, 
with the verb of fearing, utne, so he's fearing for himself that if openly, a perta, um, he would not be safe to venerate with such lib- liberalness um, the celestial Newman. So he couldn't openly uh, give this gold to the god, uh, so he wanted to do it clam secretly. Paractus, something's been finished, day and day then, with the mandate. So the mandates of the father had then been practiced, completed. So the Uvenized, the young man, consul, consularated uh, Apollo. Here's a question, quiz name. Who from themselves would it seem would be Regnaturus would be going to rule at Rome? Uh, that's the locative. Are we done? At is. But he, pans, it's a preposition or whatever it is, meaning belonging to. So him, belonging to him, would be the summam potestam of our city. So the utmost power of our city would be pens. It would be belonging to him, uh, he responded, this uh, future power. He who before the others, uh, Dedissa, gave an osculum to the mother. So whoever kissed their mother first would have f- the future power of, of the city. Then Brutus, perinde, means just as if, a uh, perindiac, yeah, they go together. And then atqui is before um, non vowels, so it's usually ak. Um, ak and atqui are the same thing. So just as if by chance, kazu, he prolapses, it looks like he fell forwards. De industria means on purpose, he abyaked himself. So he threw himself uh, purposely, uh, just as if it was by chance and he had slipped. Um, and the terem, and the ground, the communal mother of all, estimating thinking that the ground was the communal mother of all, he osculatus it, he kissed it. Okay, so we'll have an adverb for our daily dictionary. Perindi, in the same way, just as equally, or likewise. And as we saw, perinde, ac, just as if. Okay, what's that, top 20,000 words? You see that pretty often, really. Um, quad so vafri, which so cunningly, um, what have we got? Have we, he gave this kiss that the liberty of the city... So there's the earth. The earth's given him the freedom of the city. And with Brutus, this guy here, here he is in the in another form. Um, he was the first in the fasces. That's their calendars and annuals. Um, he was given place. So a uh, tribute would takes the dative. So that's probably what that's going on about there. So um, yeah, he kissed the uh, mother first and he impressed the earth by this kiss. And he was given the freedom of the city and he was placed first on the calendars and holidays and whatever other things fasties are.